This is Steven with Greenbrier Percussion. I'm here to talk to you about this Tama Silver Star All Birch drum set. This is a really cool bop kit. We've done a lot of bop kits recently because they're in high demand, and each one has its own cool strengths and weaknesses. The biggest strength of this kit, I think, is the robustness of the hardware. You get top notch professional quality hardware, a great tom tom slider so this can get closer to you or farther away by adjusting this piece here. You get the uh, free floating mounting that you get with the, uh, the star cast mounting system shown here. And the bass drum has a really solid riser that's not going to wiggle around on you or show any uh, signs of like easy wear and tear, which is a big flaw of some of the bob kits that came out and were designed in the 90s. Tama's more modern designs are great. Also, the lacquer finish looks like a deep pool of water. It's really beautiful. I hope you can see it popping under the stage lights here, even though we left some of the, uh, the price tags on this since we're just going to sell it as a demo kit. Now, uh, to the most important thing, uh, how does this kit sound? Even with a pillow in the space, I get a whole lot of punch, a lot of depth out of it. I really like that I can get a, a strong attack out of it, and it's loud enough. That's a really important thing if you're buying a bop kit and you want it to be heard because you're not playing it through microphones by Birch. Uh, it's going to sing. You get a lot more highs out of it, so naturally it's going to be a little easier for people to pick up and hear. Not that the uh, warmth of maple and the focus on low-range frequencies necessarily are quieter. They're just not as easy to distinguish in here over top of the other musicians you're playing with since they're often going to be filling uh, you know, a lot of bass guitar on those same low-range frequencies that you're going to hit on a wide-open maple bass drum on a bop kit. So if you're going to play this snow mics, you just want to set this up on a stage, this is a great kit. Uh, that's why I chose to play a fairly loud rhythm when I uh, started this video off. You can tell this thing really can pack a punch for a small drum set. It's not necessarily a jazz drummer's kit. It's a great for rock and roll, alternative, country, you name it. Uh, I'll play a little bit of uh, softer stuff, move around, and uh, play some fusion-y things for you here and there, I suppose. I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Check out specs up there on our ads. And uh, otherwise, I uh, hope you like the way this kit sounds.